Hi, Derek. Victoria. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Wow, quite an entrance. Yes, yes, very magnificent. Follow me, please. Welcome to 502 Park Avenue. This is a pre-war building. The view is stunning. The view is beautiful. But the city feels like you own it. This is really the it top, is. The top it spot. It is, it is, yes. Yeah. And what would they have to pay? For this? To be able to well, live Well, we're here. asking 51 million uh, right now. Even in this economy? It's still holding its value. It's still holding its value, yes. but is We've it harder it to sell? I think it's not as fashionable to come look at this oh. as it was before, but... Fashionable to come look at it? Because people feel guilty right now, you know, to drive the expensive car, to buy the expensive shoes, to buy the expensive bag. Let me show you the exterior. Yeah, oh, the exterior. Which I think is the prize of this apartment. To have a terrace, especially one that faces Central Park, is very rare. We're seeing Central Park. Yes, yeah. that's Central Park. And we're looking up north. You see all the way to Harlem from here. It's beautiful. But, you know, expensive apartments like these trophies are not doing that well. So you would have to sell it for less? Probably. You know, well, th this apartment is unique. The owner is okay. And he, <laughs> he can wait this market out. What do you out. mean by okay? Meaning that the owner here is a Mr. Trump. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Trump is not in a hurry to sell this. The bathroom is extraordinary, and I'll show it to you. And it's the size, this is the size of at least a two-bedroom apartment in New I York mean, City. Yeah, I was going to say this is yeah. enough. You have closets here, a jacuzzi, and uh, of course, look at this outdoor space. Oh, this is another terrace. Another terrace, right off your bath. Isn't this spectacular? Do your morning ablutions, you can look at this wonderful view. It's, it's uh -huh. crazy. It's like being outdoors, but then in the city. Right. Have this gorgeous view. Being able to afford an apartment like this, that must be the dream come true, the American dream come true. I definitely think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little girl from Russia who came here when I was six years old, lived in Brooklyn, and all of a sudden I find myself in the middle of the city with a $51 million listing. So yes, it's definitely a dream come true. For me to be able to see this is a dream come true. Yeah. But you really feel uh, 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 a part of that American dream in your uh, own I, life too. In my own life, definitely. But being a successful broker is more than just talking to the clients. Your life has to look like a success too. Well, you know, what is a successful real estate broker if they don't invest in their own inventory? Success attract success because people see you as an example. You can't tell people to, to do something if you yourself are not doing it. If you yourself live in a beautiful home, you want your customer to live in a beautiful home yeah. and vice versa. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to go. There's a customer here to see the apartment. Okay. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. Nice to see you, bye-bye. Bye bye. It's been Thank dreamlike. You. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you so much. So welcome to the grand ballroom. That's what I like to call it. But this would be your living space. It's really, really stunning. The ceiling height, the feeling of openness here. You know, every time I'm here, I feel like we can dance in a ballroom. We have Madison Avenue with all the boutiques. Okay. This is a very dangerous location for those of us who like to shop. Yes, it is. I think this is a beautiful apartment and I would like my parents to buy this for me. It's a very smart decision. It's a special place. It truly is.